Hi everyone, and welcome to the beginner's guide to the upcoming role-playing game, They Came From Beneath the Sea. This game, from the mind of Matthew Dawkins and with the backing of Onyx Path Publishing, this work of pulp science fiction is running rampant on Kickstarter. Already having smashed its initial goal and tearing into its stretch goals, this is a game that's guaranteed to both hit the market and be more fun than underwear filled with wriggling brine shrimp. In They Came From Beneath the Sea, you are presented with an alternative method of alien invasion. You see, even now humanity has only explored somewhere between 5 and 7% of the ocean floor, and that leaves plenty of room for unknown and terrifying creatures from the abyssal depths to plan and plot of their inevitable, terrifying trials of terror on the turf. Of course, that is not the only source of sinister seafood savagery. These crustacean creatures can also be the product of scary science, or even malignant mutation. It doesn't matter. Just know that the tentacle traitors can attack you from all sides. In this game of nautical nightmares, you play as one of five major archetypes. You have the everyman, your regular Joe Normal. He's a normal civilian, about to be swept up in the currents of chaos. Next you have the G-Man. Tell me, Stephen Shades, will your badge protect you when Oliver Octopus comes ashore to take your girlfriend as his shoreline spouse? Then you have the mouth, Rachel Reporter. Your role is sharing the word and spreading the information that may just save the world. But will the masses heed your warning before Kathy Catfish strolls up to port? The scientist, beakers, flasks. These are the tools of the trade. But try as you might, is there a cure for being a grotesque creature of the deep? Lastly, we have the survivor. They came ashore for you once before, but you took your sea legs and appropriately shoved one boot up their respective rears. But with further danger from the depths dangling daringly, how will you welcome the ornery ocean obstacles back when they're at your door? Of course, everyone knows that a game is only as vibrant as its villains. There are numerous types sizes of invaders, and they each hold numerous classes with them. The first are destroyers. They are the most physically fearsome, either due to biology or scientific study. I'll outline some of the classes here. You have the Aquapadilas. They look like massive maggots, and they're mindless monsters. Then you have the Brain Box. Made by man, it went rogue and took to the depths to create its own aquatic army. It has its own mechanical means, having built itself humongous and dangerous armor to carry itself into battle. King Sea Serpents. These are mostly self-explanatory, as they're gigantic sea snakes controlled by special helmet-like apparatuses that invaders from the sea wear to control these nightmares. Robot Sharks. They're former robot people, and they can't talk, but boy howdy can they swim and slaughter. Then we have the Shark Clans. Half people, half shark. All threat from the ocean depths. These bootleg refugees from the island of Dr. Moreau have one immediate need. To feed. And then we have the Teenage Shrimp. The Teenage Shrimp is a poor teenage rockabilly soul who ate a radioactive shrimp. And when high tide comes by, you best try to fly and hide. The Uranium Man. A monster of pure uranium, he hungers for radiation. And he doesn't just eat it, he exudes it! Well, we're going to mention the above for now. There'll be an entire second beginner's guide covering all the threats, because there's far too many to cover in this one guide. We just need to give you a surf and turf feel for the eel right here. Now, on to what this game is, in case you couldn't tell by the obnoxious auditory assault. Set the scene. It's the 50s, and the time of the nuclear family is now. We have our television dinners, we have our communism, which is a looming threat, and as McCarthy hunts for spies in his halls, everything seems just perfect in our newly minted Technicolor world. See Hollywood dominating that suburban culture. Thrill, as rock and roll gets the teens tenaciously tearing up the dance halls. But look out, friends, as those magical moments are about to come to an end. The waves hide wild and wily vandals that would love nothing more to disrupt your day. They come for your houses, they come for your women, they come for your cars, they come for your lives! Following the story path system, prepare for your director, the person who has planned the plot and guided the game, to throw scenarios straight out of Plan 9 from Outer Space and the creature from the Black Lagoon at your plucky players. However, this isn't your basic dice system. We'll break further into this also in another guide, coming within the next week, but you have stunts an ability to bank and risk successes for another time. Most importantly, please remember this isn't just for your normal game. The director is recommended to run the game as if you were all cinematic citizens, playing out the role of your own fantastic film. Those are the basics as to what the game is and what it is about. But just you wait, loyal listener. 
Onyx Path has been so kind as to set us up with much of the game already, and we have many more guides in the next week or so coming up before the Kickstarter ends. So wait, watch, prepare, because you aren't obfuscated from the ocean. You aren't warded from the waves. You know this because you don't need to ask where these dangers come from. You know this because they came from beneath the sea. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time in the botch pit. And thank you again to Matthew Dawkins and Onyx Path Publishing. Get on Kickstarter at the link below and support this game today. You will not regret it for some B-movie action and some cinematic scenes that you have never seen. Thank you again. Please like, subscribe, and share.